What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday, and welcome to Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are Rolly from Theo and Harris. And today we're going to be talking about a delicious wine from where? From Chianti. Chianti, as well as Only Watch. Uh, let's roll the intro, and then we'll get into the whole spiel. Okay, so this week we're actually going to be changing Liquor Run around a little bit. Obviously, we're going to be cracking open a terrific bottle of wine. What is it, by the way? It's Gabbiano Solat Solatio. And it's not quite a Chianti. It's a made in Tuscany, right? But, but it's, it's not, not, a, it's a, not Chianti. a Chianti. Gabbiano is a Tus is a Chianti based winemaker, right? And it brings a ton of value. Yes, yeah. it's, it's delicious, believe me. But uh, we're also going to be talking about about this week in watches or, or what's going on in, in the watch world, right? So, uh, so um, I myself, as the as the teenage person, talk about watches all the time, uh, and 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 a watch geek who doesn't d do it all the time. You know, someone who, right? I mean, you love yeah. watches, but it's it's not every day. No. So talking about it is going to be is going to be fun, I think. Yeah, it'll be educational too. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's do it. Yeah. Boom. All right, I am really, really excited to get into today's episode. But before we do, uh, wristwatch check. What are you wearing, Daddy? Uh, I bought this in Chinatown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lovely Panerai. Yeah. Look at this. Where'd you get it? Uh, in the TNH headquarters. <laughs> it's just floating around TNH <laughs> HQ, and he's like, uh, uh, "Can I wear this?" I was like, "Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead." So uh, I am wearing uh, a Rolex Reverend 1601 uh, in yellow gold, yellow gold case, very, very sharp with a taupe dial. I just landed this one. Uh, this will be hitting the watch shop at theoharris.com, but if you are impatient, please email me, uh, and I will I will give you the specifications, and we'll talk about it. But um, Now, that watch is hotter than this studio. Yeah. Woo! We're cooking a little bit right now. We're cooking. It's a hot day. But uh, we do not have air conditioning at this moment because whatever. So for all of you who may not know, uh, mm -hmm. Only Watch is a very famous, very prestigious auction uh, in, in the watch world. Um, major, major watch brands from Patek and Zenith to bizarre, bizarre, you know, uh, independents, uh, F.P. Jordan being probably the most famous, uh, make unique pieces. They make one-off watches uh, and they donate them. The watches are auctioned and then the proceeds go to a charity of their choice, uh, Muscular Dystrophy, I believe, this year. Or is that always? I'm not sure. But uh, that, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful concept. So uh, so I think that it's, it's very important to jump into the, the unique pieces that are being offered. Uh, so we'll do so. It's for a good call. Yeah, right? Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay, so the first watch is by Anderson Geneve, uh, an independent that most people don't really know. I've only ever seen one in person once on the wrist of at Spanish Rob on Instagram. But take a look at this watch. It, to me, it has a lot of um, a lot of Patek Philippe oh, no doubt. influence. I mean, this is classic yeah. Swiss design. And I think it's, although a little bit, uh, a little bit on the uh, daring edge with the dial, it's very, very handsome. V a lot of similarity though. Yeah, take a look. We yeah. actually happen to have yeah. a, a world timer, a Patek yeah. world timer uh, in the studio right now. And I think it's beautiful. Which one do you prefer? Believe it or not. Believe it or not, I really like that watch. Isn't it the Anderson crazy? Geneve. Yeah. I mean, that's it, this is a the, it's a beautiful watch. Yeah. But I just love the finish. I love the matte finish on that. It's got the a little well, bit look of at the two jagged. Yeah. It's a beautiful watch. Don't you think yeah. that the matte finish, yeah. it, it, it makes it so much more casual? It does. It, it, it definitely takes it down a notch. You know, I wouldn't wear it on a red strap, per se. Oh, I would. You would? Oh, yeah. I think I'd put it on like a, on like a navy blue or something. You could, certainly right. could do that, but that's it, that's. Cool. It is I, hot, I love though. that. Yeah. yeah, beautiful watch. Look, look at the broken lugs too. Anyway, yeah. to me, this like watch is, is it represents, uh, like I said, an independent, but in in a in a way that isn't necessarily like bizarre. Many independents are synonymous with like bizarre watches. This is just classic Swiss uh, manufacturer. Yeah, there's there's you nothing know, bizarre about brand. that watch. Exactly, it's very classic lines. Uh, yeah, I, I like the geometry of that. Yeah, of that, of that watch. Very cool. All right, what are we drinking? Tell me what we are drinking. We're actually we're drinking a a um, a. It's 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 a red wine from from Italy. It's from the Chianti uh, region. Mm -hmm. It you, it's not a Chianti per se. Okay. Because this this wine made by Gabbiano, a very very good producer of Tuscan wines. Uh, th this wine uh, is a uh, uh, Syrah Cabernet and a touch of Sangiovese, cool. the principal grape for uh, of, of of Chianti. Okay. So you can consider this almost like a baby Super Tuscan, so to speak. Okay. Because you're using the international grapes, you know, uh, uh, well Cabernet for certain, right. Syrah, and uh, and um, it doesn't conform to the to the uh, to the um, 
the classic recipe of Chianti. Okay. So that's why it doesn't have, if you notice, it doesn't have the rooster on the sticker. Okay, I didn't okay, notice, this, now you're So that. there's no DOC, DOCG. Okay. So it's, it's not those. technically the Chianti. Technically it's not, but it's it's an IGT. Okay. Okay, which means that, um, that it falls from outside the boundaries. Does that mean it's bad wine? Absolutely not. Right. It just means we're making wine in Chianti, but we're using a different recipe that doesn't conform with the rules. Right. But it's still pretty good. Right. And uh, and uh, yeah. th this one's good. I had I had this wine actually in a little restaurant in Boston, and uh, it was on the wine list. I'm like, oh, let's give it a shot. It was actually it was really good. Cool. So right. it's an in it's an inexpensive wine. How much is it? Um, this wine cost me uh, nine dollars. Okay. And uh, you know what's cool is that Gabbiano, they've been making wine since the I'll say the 13th century, probably the, the 12th century, mm -hmm. and um, um, you know they just know what they're doing. I mean, anybody that's been doing stuff that long has to be doing something right. Yep. And uh, and they've got some wonderful wines up and down the scale. Cool. Um, you can see I'm using a very archaic <laughs> wine opener for an archaic Italian, Italian wine. Okay. 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 Did, 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 Italian this, wine uh, this wine opener probably was made in 1162. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, used by the Florentine banking barons. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, in fact, uh, Dante probably wrote about how much he hated this uh, wine opener. <laughs> okay, on to number two. A watch that is also very geometric, but one that I'm not necessarily a fan of. Your next watch is a blacked out AP yep, Royal with ceramic case. Yeah. I personally wouldn't wear it. No, it, it's a it's a it's a royal oak. Did yes, you, did it's, you it's a royal yeah. oak with with the with the perpetual calendar function. Right. So there's no doubt that it's a horology watch. This is a top top down watch. But yeah, but you don't need to go this far. Yeah, I, you know, I think that it's at the end of the day, impressive is impressive is impressive, and that's fine. But sometimes it's just ugly. To me, that's a Johnny Walker blue. <laughs> well, 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 it is. I mean, if you're looking at the if you're looking at the line of the watches, I mean, this is the ceramic case perpetual movement. There's no doubt. Yeah. But you don't like it. I don't think it has much more value. I don't think it has value. Right. That's my point. But do you think that the Johnny Walker Blue smells like? Because I think this smells like. Shit. I don't think it. I don't think Johnny Walker <laughs> Blue adds value over platinum. Or, okay. Or, sure. Or, or really over black. Right. No, that's, that's fine. my point. But don't you take it to them? Doesn't this watch offend you though a little bit? You don't. You don't. Not turn off by the watch. So you, I think that what you're getting. It's almost like it's so much more expensive. I don't like it any more than the others. Yeah. But don't you dislike it? Something I definitely would not wear because I just don't see the value of wearing that. If I want to wear that, I'm going to wear stainless silver. Right. You know, and I think that would be a lovely watch as is. You're messy. It's the same way I wouldn't black out a Mercedes Benz or BMW. Yeah. That to me is a, 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 just a blacking out of, of, uh, of something that was just not right meant before it. That's how I see it. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's let's get back into the wine. Let's let's revisit what's going on. So what what are we drinking? So we're drinking a um, a red wine from Tuscany made by uh, Gabbiano. Cheers. Let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. So let's see what you get. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's got a nice little little uh, you know. I'm a nostalgic. Nose. I'm 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 waiting for you to smell no longer. I don't want to get too technical about wine. Let's let's talk. Let's talk about the palate. What'd you get? Uh, sour cherry. Definitely. Okay, definitely some of that, that, that black fruit, but that's because of the Cabernet and, and, and Syrah. Yep. Okay, but but oddly enough, or or or, or but maybe it's not odd, you still get that that five percent of Sangiovese yep. really does shine through because it makes this it, it it gives it that little bit of that sour note that's so classic to, to Chianti. So this is a really cool, I would say you know, roasted meat wine, but yep. pizza. It's yeah. a, oh a, yeah, no, so I this is a great pizza with wine. a really bright marinara sauce. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. a bright this sauce. Is, this is a great wine, I think, to grab on a Friday if you plan on going out yeah. with the fam for some yeah. Italian food. Yeah, uh, that's terrific. This is actually really delicious. Yeah, this yeah. is a nice wine, yeah. uh, and it's not very heavy. Mm. That's what I. That's my biggest problem with many of those, like you know, really um, like cherry and those really like you know, fruity. Not, not, not fruity in like a in like a California sweet way, but just kind of that, that that really natural wine is sometimes they're just so like they're so heavy and they bog your kind of palate down. This isn't. I feel like it, it is very. It's not very light, but it is pretty damn light on the palate. It's light. It, it, this is a wine that we probably drink a lot of. It. Not necessarily this wine, although we. I think I suspect we'll be drinking more of this wine because yep. the price point is right and the way the how we eat. 
uh, matches marries pretty well uh, with with our with our diet. Yeah. So uh, you know we tend to have some red sauce. We tend to have a lot of you know antipasti. Yeah. Uh, some tapas, things like that. And I think yeah. this marries pretty well because it's not it's not it's not jammy. Right. We we we, we personally don't like jammy wines. Yeah. Sorry guys, but uh, that's uh, that's it. Check it out, uh, Gabbiano. All right. It's a it's a Again, Gabbiano is an is an excellent producer of Tus of of, uh, of uh, Tuscan wines, Chianti. Especially yep. oh, that's what that's what they're known for. Cool. Pick it up. It's a good foray into into uh, into Tuscan wines. Cool. Okay, we'll do one more watch for this episode uh, from Only Watch. Take a take a look at this. It's it's actually an El Primero, which is a classic chronograph uh, from Zenith. But this is the Defile Primero. What does that remind you of? You blow. Yeah, but, but I, like what? It looks like ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. Yeah, it's that classic Hublot feel. Yeah, out of a brand that has yeah. so much heritage. Very cold. So is there is there a link between that? Well, back uh, in January of this year, mm. uh, John Claude Beaver, who was the founder, uh, one of the founders of Hublot, mm-hmm. announced that he was now the CEO or the interim CEO of Zenith. I'm actually not sure if he's the CEO right now, uh, but either way, his claws, which I think that they're usually good claws, uh, are are in Zenith. But it it really hurts me to see. Zenith, a classic, classic watch manufacturer, right? You can see the. Uh, but ima- imagine the a Ferrari influence. looking like a Lamborghini, right? You know, why would you want that? Yeah. That the whole the whole point is that it's you know I mean to, to imagine a Porsche you know looking like a BMW it doesn't make any sense. It makes me sad. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like a the, shame. It's like the yeah. death of a, of yeah. a brand, yeah. kind of in, in the design, because these brands, I mean, yeah. it's mechanics and it's design. Yeah. And most people look at designs before they look at mechanics. Am I wrong? Without, well, I do. Well, without a question, yeah. and, and honestly, so do I. Yeah. So, I, what a shame, right? But anyway, this is a really cool cause. I think that only watch. I hate the Zenith, but we have to hope it sells for a ton of money. Yeah. Because it is for muscular dystrophy. I'm sure there'll be someone out there that'll find that yep. you know, pleasing and. Uh, They'll bid on it. They could spend half a million dollars. And I I honestly, I hope it sells for three million. Listen. Because it's for someone's bad taste will help someone (laughs) in need. Someone's bad taste is going is hopefully going to save a lot of a lot of people. That's right. uh, so so whether we hate the watches or not, uh, cheers to the people who donated these watches to Only Watch. Uh, really, uh, this is a delicious wine, by the way. Uh, still enjoying this, but uh, thank you for joining me today, Daddy O. You're on, welcome on this liquor run. Uh, we're gonna switch it up a little bit from here on out, uh, but this is awesome. So cheers, cheers, again. salute. <laughs>